Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here, and I just wanted to apologize to you guys and give you an explanation why there wasn't a video yesterday. And I actually had recorded and edited the video for yesterday, but my internet just, it, it wasn't working. I was getting like 0.5 upload and absolutely no down, or no wait, 0.5 download, no upload. I tried to upload the video, it went up to thousands of hours to upload because it, my internet was just incredibly slow and I ended up fixing the internet by punching my router not sure why that worked but it did I wish I would have done it you know 12 hours before I did and by the time I actually had punched it uh, it was already you know the next day so I, I didn't want to upload then because I, I really don't want to get behind in uploading and I feel like I have the video I could upload it today but I want to upload today's video mostly because I, I have something that I want to bring up that I didn't bring up in my last video about the Xbox One removing their DRM policy and it's that there's something that I didn't really expect to see uh, I got the news kind of early, I made the video right when I heard the news so I you know didn't hear anything else I go to Twitter expecting to see people going alright you know good move by Xbox One I talk to people expecting kind of the same reaction because I, I saw it as a positive thing, I didn't see it as a negative thing and I saw the same people who were trash-talking Xbox One for having the policy in the first place going, Microsoft, I can't believe you caved. What kind of company caves? I don't trust the company that would just cave in so easily. It's like, what? How can you bitch and complain about something, and then when the company steps up and says, look, our bad, we, we understand now, you know, this is not a good idea, our sales are dropping, we made a mistake, we're going to fix it. I don't see how that's a bad thing. I don't see how, you know, that's going to be something that, you know, I, I don't think that this is negative for the gaming community. I think this is a win. This is definitely the gaming community speaking, maybe not throughout, you know, our rants and uh, all our YouTube posts and Twitter posts. It's more from our wallet. But the fact is, the gaming community is why Microsoft changed their policy. And it's definitely a reflection of Microsoft that you see that they want to please gamers and they see that they kind of threw us under the bus with the DRM policy and now they're they're stepping up, they're owning up to their mistake and they're fixing it and uh, I just want to say that, I, you know, I see it as a positive thing I can't believe that so many people are trash talking Microsoft now for I guess going back on their word which it, it just, it goes to show that no matter what there's going to be the exact same amount of people that hate you and it's like that in politics, too. And no matter who's the president or prime minister, the exact same number of people that hated the last one are going to hate the new one. The people will change, the individuals will change, but the number's always the same. It's always that same number of people who just think that it's the worst president or prime minister in history. Your current president, my current prime minister, there's groups of people who think that they're the worst in history. There's groups of people who think they're the best in history. Jump cut. Looks like Mr. Peanut approves. I approve. That camera angle was not something to approve. Uh, back on there. There we go. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. <clears throat> Excuse my voice there. It went out. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. But, uh, tomorrow's vlog should be a really cool one if things go right. I've got something planned that I really hope you guys like. And until next time, this is Foster the Canadian, saying see ya.